Legends. It's that time you're officially in the Alert Zone. Welcome to the Alert Zone TV. I'm the Wizard Uncle James. I would love for you to become an active citizen of the Alert Zone. You already know how to do that. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell with all so you can be notified when we drop fire and fruitful content. Make sure you give the video a like and share. If you are 18 years of age or older and are able to be legally armed, and America practice your Second Amendment rights is not illegal under the Constitution. If you are able to be legally armed anywhere in the world, shout out to my family down in Brazil. Get legally armed. And at the end of the day, just protect you and yours. It's a human right. So first off, I want to shout out the state of Texas and the city of Houston. We are on location again. I am in the city of Houston, Texas. Uh... So, got my canic. The mag is loaded with the stick. Empty for YouTube. You guys have already seen me on the video run this thing. It runs like an Olympic sprinter. Don't try it. Don't even try it. Don't run up on me. With that being said, I wanted to talk to everybody about what it means to practice your Second Amendment rights, how important it is, and how detrimental it can be when you fail to practice this. So I just ran across a story. You guys know we talked about Ubalde. Um, for those of you don't, who don't know, two years ago, Rob Elementary in Ubalde, Texas, had a mass shooting where a gunman walked in with an AR-15 and slaughtered 19 children and two teachers. Uh, this was the first time an incident like this happened where basically there was independent media there. What I mean by that is school cameras and people that had their own phones. The mainstream media couldn't get with law enforcement to cover everything up like they did during Columbine. I want everybody to listen to what I'm going to tell you. Some more ruffles and feathers, but I'm going to say it. Rob Elementary didn't make me feel something I didn't already know and I hadn't already talked about when it came to law enforcement. I told everybody, law enforcement in this country and in this world, they're humans. They got a family to go home to just like the rest of us. I've also said something else. It's easy for law enforcement to flex their muscle on somebody that's defenseless or they got outnumbered and out position. It's not too easy when you got somebody that got equal firepower as you and is willing to use it. Your human side takes over. You forget about all that training because as I tell you, when we go to the range, I watch a lot of people at the range, you know, they brag about headshots, and don't get me wrong, it feels good to get headshots on the silhouettes sometimes, you know, the targets. But remember, those targets are not moving, and they're not firing back at you. So it's easy to hit a stationary target. I will say this. Uvalde made me lose respect for the whole don't mess with Texas. I know that ruffles some people feathers. Don't mess with Texas was supposed to be a thing about law enforcement, how they don't fuck around. Well, guess what? In Texas, of all places, you had a guy going in a school and was allowed to slaughter 19 children and two teachers to the point where you had a lady jump the fence and go get her children out of the school. You had parents being arrested. You had parents being handcuffed outside of the school that was trying to get in there to get their kids and were willing to die while, this, while you can hear the gunshots going off. They were more concerned about the parents going in than they were about the gun. And let me make this clear to everybody. You guys and girls can go back and you can go and see the video. These guys had the shields, the, bu the bulletproof shields. They were dressed like Call of Duty warriors. All it took was for one person 
to be armed with an equalizer. And that was showing that he was willing to use it. And them bastards let that man, guy stay in there and kill all them damn people. For those of you who don't know, Rob Elementary is no more. And this would be a reminder to law enforcement every day about their failure. But not only their failure, I told you guys and girls, law enforcement in this country, when you talk that back the badge and all that nonsense, and I, yeah, I said nonsense. You talking about backing a group of men and women that always have the advantage. They're not so brave and not so tough when it's an equal fight. On the docuseries we do here, Devil Again, I detail Michael Johnson, how Michael Johnson in Dallas had a strategic position. He was ex-military and knew how to use weapons. So much to the point they had to send a robot up there with explosives to kill him because they couldn't get him. I talked to you about Mark Essig, who it took over 10,000 rounds to finally take down that knew how to use a firearm and they had to take a helicopter to get them up there on that roof and kill him. Law enforcement, they're human. Let's just go ahead and get the obvious out of the way. The majority of them are cowards. Don't give me that crap about it's only a few bad apples the majority of law enforcement. Don't give me that. I don't want to hear it. I just don't. Sorry. If the majority of them were right, you wouldn't have the things you happen, have happening in the country. Please, please don't. We're not going to have that discussion. But they are human. At the end of the day, they got somebody, our loved ones, they want to go home to. And they're not going to put themselves in harm's way for you. When I say law enforcement, I mean the majority. I don't mean every officer to the T. Because we have some officers that will put their lives on the line. But it's far and few in between when it's an even or a lopsided and not in their favor gunfight. See, it's easy to beat up Tyree Nichols when it's eight, nine of y'all ganging up on somebody. Jose Garica, it's easy to shoot somebody fleeing from you and to beat up somebody that's handcuffed. And then you turn around and you get caught having sex with a girl that's underage that you met in the damn church. Yeah, I, I'm talking about you. From the Jackson uh, Jacksonville Sheriff's Office over there. Jose Carica. This is your equalizer, people. Uvalde should have been a lesson to every law-abiding citizen in America about practicing your Second Amendment rights and protecting yourself. Because at the end of the day, you can't depend on law enforcement. You got a few. When that white supremacist went up there, Allen, Texas, and shot that mall up, it was one lone black officer that went in there and put him down. But that's a rare occasion that you got a one-on-one -on -one that's willing to get in a gunfight. Most of the time, they wait for backup. And when backup comes, if they don't think they feel strategic, they'll wait. That's what happened in Uvalde. Nobody wanted to run up in his class and take this guy out and risk their life. So instead, they let the kids be slaughtered. Children. They let children be slaughtered. Now they've indicted the school district police chief and one of the officers. And they brought up uh, their response and their training and what have you. But let me tell you something. You can't train for the real life thing. You can try and have your tools to be prepared, but you can't train for it. Because you know what? TV has made us think about an ideal situation. Well, it don't happen like that in the real world. In the real world, you're not going to see a car thief coming three blocks away where you can get in position for him. From, for him. You're not going to see the home invader planning to come breaking your house every time. It's just like that. 
Just like that, situations happen. And as I say, and I'm going to continue saying, it's easy to beat up and shoot people and be tough when it's all of y'all ganging up on one person that nine times out of ten ain't going to fight back anyway. Most people, when law enforcement start beating on them, they go into submission. They go into a fetal position, and all they want to do is block the punches. They don't get up and fight back. Yes, you would vow there was an indictment on law enforcement. I said it. It was an indictment on them. And it was something I had been telling people that would listen to me before it happened. Stop depending on law enforcement. They're crime responders. They're not crime stoppers. Don't believe that. If law enforcement, even the FBI, with these superhuman people, when they went into the studios to take all the copies of the spook who sat by the door, the director of that film had a copy that he had a different name of the movie on there, and they left. They thought they had all the copies of the spook who sat by the door, and one was still remaining. But they tell you the FBI are these special agents, and these guys and girls, they make you think that they can look through the wall. I hope every officer that showed up and waited get charged, convicted, and sent to prison. That was a travesty. They took an oath to serve and protect. But at the end of the day, remember this. Law enforcement constantly displays human traits. If we would just all get out of our feelings and notice that. I seem like I'm hostile towards law enforcement. I'm not hostile. I'm just a realist. I know they got they normal human beings like me and you. Which is why when you challenge them, when they want to jump on you to a fist fight and you tell them take off all their weapons and let's just fight like men without hands, they tell you no. I've seen officers. Hell, I remember in my young days, I've told officers, take all that stuff off and let's fist fight. And you win, you win, I win, I win. And they told me they ain't got time for that. They know. They're trained for situations where they have the advantage. They're not trained for situations that they don't have the advantage. They didn't have an advantage in Uvalde. 19 children and two teachers suffered the consequences for that. See, for those of y'all who want to talk about it, it's a training issue. It's not a training issue. It's a real life scenario issue. It's easy to raid a home when you come in the middle of the night and y'all swarm the house like uh, the Navy SEAL team or something like that. It's easy to raid a house like that. A couple months ago when they went to go raid that house in Charlotte and that guy was hanging out there and stretched a couple of them out, that wasn't so easy because he knew they was coming and he was ready for them. He was willing to engage them. See, when they got people that fight back, it don't turn out like it does when people comply. I'm glad these officers got indicted. But I wanted to go further. We want convictions for all of them. It was on video. As I told you guys and girls, when Columbine happened, you had to dig and read and read and read and it finally came out. Law enforcement was there and could have stopped a lot of what happened in Columbine. They was too afraid to engage Clebo and Harris. This was the first time in real time since the mainstream media couldn't hide it. That we were watching in real time. People were recording this slaughter going on. And law enforcement standing around dressed like Call of Duty warriors that refused to engage this guy. There's video in the school of them seeing where the class is and hearing him shooting and backing back up with the shield. And it took one of the teachers that lost her life for her husband to leave the barbershop and go in there and take this guy out. If you're in law enforcement and I just pissed in your Cheerios, you'll be okay. You might not like what I just said, but you can't call me a liar. 
everybody that's in law enforcement understands something, you're still him. At the end of the day, you want to go to your home to your family just like everybody else. At the end of the day, most of y'all will put y'all lives on the line if it's a situation you know for 100% you're going to come out on top of. You'll engage the criminals and fight crime all day long as long as the criminals don't fight back. It's when the criminals fight back and you don't have the advantage that your human instinct kick in and you pull back. People who back the badge, people who back the blue, expect y'all to be superheroes. I don't back the badge. I don't back the blue. I'm not anti-law enforcement. I'm just pro-justice. I'm for y'all guys and girls doing the right thing, just like law-abiding citizens and criminals. I'm for us doing the right thing. I'm not for the criminals because they're doing the wrong things out here. I don't follow law enforcement blindly. Because law enforcement don't follow law-abiding citizens blindly. When we tell them we don't have anything in our cars, they won't let us leave until they search us anyway. But to law enforcement, I'm going to say this and I'm going to let it go. Y'all got a lot of support out here. Your supporters expect for you to give your life for them. And when you don't... <laughs> You guys and girls are going to suffer the consequences. Because it was a grand jury that indicted these guys. Just so you guys don't know. These officers get are getting indicted by grand juries. Because the prosecutors, the DAs don't want to charge them. They all in cahoots together. They don't want to charge them. It's the grand juries. These grand juries are runaway grand juries. And the mere fact that the whole world saw this in real time where it couldn't be hidden. It's going to be more indictments coming down for this. And it's going to be prison time. The Bible say, sell your cloak, buy your sword. The alert zone say, sell your Gucci, buy a Glock. Got the Canic TP9SA. Chambered in 9mm with the leg on it. That runs like a Olympic sprinter. Legally owned. Dependable. Trust my life with it. My first line of defense is here, not 911. Told you, dial 9mm before you dial 911. Hit me in the comment section and let me know what you think. Until next time, stay safe, stay armed, Whew. stay on high, high alert.